Namaste, friends. Namaste. Tashidale, I am Lama Bill, and you must be my three o'clock. May the Buddha bless this enterprise. Shall we? Gonna do it this time. You're finally going to be Mrs. David Vikaroshi. Let's chant. Um Natsan, Um Natsan, Um Natsan, Um Natsan, Um Natsan, Um Natsan, Um Natsan. Oops, I forgot my prayer beats. I'll be right back. I'm sorry about this. I know this isn't exactly the wedding of your dreams. As long as I'm marrying the man of my dreams, what does it matter if the ceremony is in the Temple of Tranquility or the Grand Ballroom of the Palace Hotel? I gotta hand it to you. To be honest, I didn't think you had it in you. To marry you? To give up all your money. Oh, that. The choice was easy for me. You know how I used to love a, a gourmet meal or a bespoke suit, but I could never afford them on my own. So to long for them was a dead end. The life of the soul, the life of poverty made sense for me, but for you, you have it all. And to give that up, to marry me, to join me in the gutter, priceless. Your life is my life. I know, you keep saying it. I'm actually starting to believe it. Oh, you better believe it. We're about to get married. <laughs> Dorian, it means so much to me that you would want what I have to offer. Not that I'm knocking it. You haven't lived until you fasted for 10 days and then tasted your first teaspoonful of yak butter. It's been a lonely life. I've missed you. I've missed us. We're fun. We're about as fun as it gets, David. Dorian. Will you marry me? I know you've already asked me and I've accepted, but I thought I'd return the favor. Yes, David. I will be happy to marry you. And yes, we'll be penniless, but we'll have the sun in the morning and the moon at night. And in the winter, there's this wonderful little ashram in the Bahamas where they let you eat for free if you do the dishes. You wash, I'll dry. <laughs> What's keeping him so long? You practice patience, my eternal flame, while I go look for the llama. <sighs> Ooh. Ah! Oh. Oh, now I know why the good Lord invented chairs. I'm just doing what needs to be done. Clint Buchanan stole the Buchanan fortune from me uh -huh. when I had won it fair and square, so I'm stealing it back. That's karma, where I come from. The only reason I'm marrying David Vikaroshi is because he is the one and only true heir to the Buchanan fortune. I'm lying. I crave money. I crave power. I crave stature. But I also crave David. I adore him. I just do. Ooh. 
And if he finds out what I've done, he's going to hate me. He'll leave me. Well, then, so be it. I've lived without him before, and I will live without him again. Perhaps we should call this whole thing off. You are leaving me at the altar again? No. Are you? A woman's thoughts prior to saying her sacred wedding vows are private. Especially if she's getting cold feet. Oh, my feet are quite toasty, thank you. What you overheard was Dorian, merely... Dorian, you don't have to explain, I understand. You do? I do. I hurt you, or... I should say David Vickers hurt you. I made you love me. I made you long for me. And then I dumped you. Uh, let's not go there. No. I dumped you. I humiliated you. I made you look ridiculous. People were pointing at you and they were laughing. Stop. That's enough. And you're afraid that I will do that again. But I won't. My ruby-throated hummingbird. Because I'm different. I'm a changed man. I'm not the same man that left you in a puddle, in a pew. I'm new. I don't want your money. I want the here and now. I only want you, Dorian. And if you can see me for the man that I am now, not a Vickers, nor a Truman, not even a wannabe Buchanan, but a full-fledged Vicaroshi, then I'm yours. If you'll have me. David. With all my heart.